Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 22 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode, a lot of exploration was had. We were down here in these these spooky caves with lots and lots of lava. Found ourselves a mine track. Found a uh, marble mini biome, which was pretty cool. And it looks like there is another one over here we could explore. As well as the granite biome, which was really cool. And I was digging the furniture. It was, it, that's something I will likely make my house out of. We did take a look at the underground, or the underworld slash hell, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we, we just came back up to the surface because we got our butts kicked and we were on fire. So we came back on the surface and died. So no big deal. Now, Strange Plant, I looked this up, and where did I put the other one? Well, every now and then, like, it seems to just kind of auto-dash on its own, but that might just be my keys being super sensitive. But what I found is these Strange Plants give you animated dye. Apparently, that's what they're used for. So if you go to the dye trader, what's his name? Phil, Phil, Phyllisier? Phyllisier? That's weird. Strange Plants? Fanta- Oh my god, he said Fantabulous. <laughs> Fantabulous, wonderful friend. With this delicate specimen, I may mix the most amazing dyes expert LP has ever seen. You may take this one right away, and you just keep showing it to him, and he gives you a bunch of dyes. So we got a few here. So we got Shadow Dye, Acid Dye, and Purple Ooze Dye. Now what these do is they should be animated. That that looks like it's pulsing. So Purple Ooze Dye, I'll put that on our chest as well. And it looks like it kind of changes colors very slightly. Maybe I was seeing things. Maybe it's because of the day. Some of them can be animated, from my understanding. And it doesn't look like these were. I think it was just the days, the the the, the light changing from the day. What's what's acid dye look like? Acid dye is definitely animated, so that's animated. What about shadow dye? Shadow dye sounds really cool. And it's just like pure black. So that is cool if you want to, you know, black out your build. I almost look <laughs> with that. It almost looks minus like the skirt. Or the dress, I, said, I should say. It almost looks like we're like Dark Link or something here. Uh, what, I want to see what it looks like with my meteor armor. Oh my god. That, that's, that is dark. Dude, that, that is actually pretty cool. The uh, acid dye. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> that is trippy. What about purple ooze? That doesn't do anything, does it? No, it just kind of... Does it... No, it really... Hold on. Let me, let me swap it all out. Kind of weird how I, ha I can't... Oh, I can right-click it. Okay, so that should make that quicker. Does that do anything? Like, okay, that's what I was wondering. If you clip it all, do you get like a particle effect? That is pretty cool. I, I, I like that. What about Shadow Die when I run? Do I get anything from that? Looks like I have to right-click to get it all out. Okay. I'm figuring this, this out. I don't use dye often. So there is a particle effect with black dye, but it's just like completely blacked out. and It's a little bit boring, in my opinion. So, as much as I like the super dark... Uh, black color. I mean, we can make a pretty cool thing with that. Uh, like, like, like a blacked out armor set. But I like the acid dye. The, uh, that animation is pretty sweet. I'll put the dyes in here. Like the, the, the super fancy dyes in there for now. Uh, I'm going to put the, <laughs> the, the, the wedding dress and stuff in there. So, what are we doing in this episode? Obviously we're getting rid of Pinky's gel. Which I should have a spot for. Which I did. I haven't been doing anywhere near as many of these fishing quests as I should have been doing. So let me at least just talk to the little guy. It's not Jay anymore. It's Bryce. So caught anywhere. Slime fish. So these are super easy. And there's a big old lake over here. Let's go take advantage of that lake. That sounds kind of strange. But let's also use a fishing potion. Nice fallen star. So you should take fallen stars. They can be used as, as ammunition in the, uh, the star cannon. I believe they might be used in a potion. Uh, don't quote me on that one. But catch them while you can. I mean, there's zero hurt in that. And I may as well get some mushrooms and day blooms, things like that. Those are useful for my potions. So it doesn't hurt to kind of mow the lawn, so to speak, just to run through here doing that. Taste new yo-yo. Taste new yo-yo. Okay, at least I can do enough damage to a zombie to essentially one-hit it with that thing before it returns. Let's see if we can get ourselves slime fish like right away. That's a bass, which is okay. We haven't been using my well-fed buff anywhere near as much as I should. Shame on me. I should I should just like have that on at all times. Just I keep forgetting to do it. Of course, when, it, when you die or it wears off, and I think when I log in and out, it also goes off. So that's why I haven't really. Uh, I haven't had it as often as I should. Come on, no slime fish that time. Because like after a couple episodes, I usually close down and I render because the space concerns and such. So we got the slime fish. That's cool. And I think that gets rid of my buff. I could be wrong, but I think that's what happens. Just watching that bobber. Let me get another bass or two. Yeah, we'll call it there. Alright, 
will ice the zombie, and we will merc this demon eye. And there's a couple zombies down here, so why not? They're stuck. Yeah, that's right. You like space gun, don't you, zombie? Alright, so use your grapple to get down here a wee bit quicker, and let's teleport home. Man, these sunflowers really do nerf that spawn rate. That's kind of insane how well they work for what they are. So he is back up at our house, so we don't need the roller. Yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff. If you want to buy spiky balls, you can buy them from him, and they are pretty good during that event. So sonar potion, and we already know what that is, so detects, or I'm sorry, I know what that is. It detects hooked fish. So you can pick and choose. These are really, really cool. You can pick and choose what you want to, like, uh, pull in. So you just sit there and let your bobber do its thing, and, oh, look, a gold, gold crate, and then reel it in. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if I can craft one of those. I don't know if there's a recipe for that. I'd have to look that one up. I'd have to show it to the guide or something. But let me make myself some cooked fish here. And I am just going to go ahead and make sure we use it. I don't want to press B. I don't know if I have any potions, I don't want to use them. So, what are we doing? Are we going back down? Are we working on the elevator? Or, what I think would be a more intelligent decision would be to go attempt to explore the jungle. Jungle is typically filled with chests. It's usually really worth your time. And in fact, what, I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go talk to Edmund. He should... I thought he sold the safe. Unless that was during a certain time of day. Unless maybe they've changed that as well. This, oops, I, don't, I didn't mean to break that bottle. The safe is essentially the same thing. And oh, somebody told me what this does. I briefly told me I didn't even have, have had a chance to read my comments. Like, I, I, I got the updates and I looked at them, but I didn't like read them all over yet. I, I read them all, I reply to like everybody, but this apparently increases the rate at which my stuff grows. And I think I can place multiples in there, if I remember. I'll have to look it up, but somebody told me I will go back and reread it. But I'm considering bringing a piggy bank. Uh, we can use that to carry slightly more if we want to. I would have liked to pick the safe because it's a separate inventory from uh, your piggy bank. Anyway, I need to deposit the Fallen Stars, which doesn't look like I have... Did I put them in here? I did, yeah, well, let's quick stack those. I uh, just want to make sure we don't have anything we don't need. I don't believe we're going to need the Obsidian Skull where we're going. So, I will put that in here, and we will start selling these shackles. Those are useless. And... Gotta remember to use this. So, I want to make a few potions. Not sure how many or, or what kind. I'll make two iron skins, so that's going to require two lead. Let's get that out. Hi, bunny. <laughs> I'm sorry, bunny. I had to. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, too, and make yourself two iron skin potions real fast. Where are you at? There you are. Now, let me show the bottles to the guide so I can figure out what other potions I may want to bring with me. What the hell is the guide? Oh, duh. <laughs> Just blanked. So, Mr. Jeff, what have you for me? bottle. Alright, hammer. Now, swiftness potions, nah, iron skin, I already have. Feather falls, spelunker, yeah, let's make some spelunkers. So we did get a few moon glow. And these are easy to make. Gold ore, blink root, and moon glow. So I'm going to make those right now. Gold ore, moon glow, and uh, blink root. So, I'll make about three. I think I'll have enough for that. So, moon glow is what, I'm th what I believe we're limited on. Blink root's not an issue. Blink moon glow's up here, right? Yep, okay, so we can only make two. And then what I will do is put these back in here. Gold, put you in here. We have quite a bit of gold ore. But Spelunker potions are huge. I love Spelunker potions. We have a night out potion. What was a shine potion? I'm assuming two blink root. We have the bottles of water. Shine potion. What is a shine potion? This makes it so I don't have to keep using torches. I still will, but it makes it easier for you you guys to see. Shine potion. Voila. Glowing mushroom, which I don't really want to waste too many of, but I'll do it because it's only two. Oh, where are you? Glowing mushrooms. Because we can upgrade some of our healing potions, which in fact... Let's do that. We can make an artificial um, glowing mushroom biome and start farming things from it. Oh wow, I like the mushroom furniture. Oh no, that is new. But yeah, we can make some artificial furniture and it's pretty cool. So I'll make those. And we'll, we'll likely be getting a lot of those healing potions. So I'm going to drop these off here. Now, 
Why? I thought it was. I thought it was that, that, and bottle of water. Am I, am I, am I being stupid? No, I'm not. I'm just being stupid. What? Danger sense potion. Yes. Let's get some shiver thorns and make some of those. I'm gonna make two of these. Uh, I, I keep forgetting that. I need to open up my chest while I'm at this thing because I can make a bunch of stuff. You go, Dryad. Kill whatever it is. Why can't I make another shine potion? I. Wasn't it just two blink root and glowing mushroom? Am I crazy? Blink root? Shine potion? Shine potion? Where are you? I, I, I'm crazy. Alright. You know what? We're, we're gonna figure this out. Oh, it's day bloom. How the hell did I screw that up? Ah. <sighs> How did I screw that up? Alright, let's go find a day bloom real fast. We gotta be a day bloom on the surface. We shall find one. We'll make our way over here. I'm sorry if this is not what you were wanting to see, but potions are going to help us out immensely, so I feel like, yeah, let's gather a few of these before we go to the jungle. The jungle is going to be tough. I don't expect that to be easy, especially with all the bees and stingers and shit that's going to be coming our way. That's not going to be fun. Alright, I mean, okay, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be difficult. All these fallen stars. So no day blooms over here. That's not unexpected. Let's go to the right. We haven't gone to the right in a while. Very likely going to come across some day blooms here. So you are, you, you, you will see them. Well, you don't have to just keep swinging blindly at the ground. That's why I'm shooting my thing here across the... My space gun across the ground. Because anything that it hits, it's going to harvest. You can see it mining a lot of grass. I still see zero day bloom. I think it's high time we start throwing some day bloom down in our plant pots, since we're starting to make some potions like this. No day bloom. I know you. I know you get the seeds from them during the day, but you should still be able to see them at night, right? Yeah. Right, right, no, that's that's the marigold. Balls. Okay, it, it is officially day, so the day bloom should be real. All right. I give up. We're making we're making our own day bloom farm. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous that we haven't had one spawn. All right, back home. Day bloom seeds. Screw it. We'll live without day bloom seeds. I know I have you in here somewhere. Tons of blink roots. So I have fallen stars in here. Fallen stars up in my my thing here. No, quit being stupid. Quit, quit being stupid. Put these in here. Day bloom seeds. I have you somewhere. Day bloom seeds. I know I have you. Don't make a liar out of me. Ah, we have two. It's not a lot, but it's enough. So, Shiver Thorns, I will relocate you. Put two Day Bloom Seeds in here. These, I believe, are very, very fast to grow, so that should not take very long. I'll put the Shiver Thorns in here. Okay, any other easy potions that I can make while having this chest open? Maybe there's another Shine Potion. And uh, we have two Danger Sense Potions. I, I already have two Mining or I already have mining Potions, but I'll bring those. What else? Endurance potion reduces damage. That might be useful, but what it would require? Yeah, armored cave fish. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to get. I'm not gonna keep wasting those, basically. Battle potion's not a good idea for what we're doing. No, sir. Teleports you to a party member. That's pretty cool. So that ought to be okay. Let's call it there. That's enough potions. I mean, this is more than I would have been prepared normally anyway. I'll put these in here. So this is the ridiculous arsenal of preparation. If you ask me. Uh, we'll throw these fallen stars in here. We've got a bunch of those during the night. I'm not going to need these acorns either. We've got spots for that. Alright, let's get on with our lives. Let's get on with our lives. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was that was a little tedious for some. But it's a, it's a necessity. If you ask me. Getting, getting prepared. Going into a new and unexplored area. This is going to be pretty difficult. Especially, oh my god, I mean, especially if those Hellbats, whatever they were, what are we doing? I mean, double, apparently damage is doubled, so if Hellbats are doing 40, if we're going to be dealing with all these things that are going to shoot at us, man-eaters are going to be trying to get us, they, they go through tiles in the wall, so they're really annoying, the bees will be stinging us and poisoning us constantly, that's going to be a difficult thing to put up with. I'm going to move bombs here, there. Alright. Desert, as much as I really want to explore you, uh, I want to go... I want to go to the jungle. I'm sorry, desert. Kill you. I should make some platforms. I know, I know we got a lot of logs, but that was for another... 
That was for another project. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, day blooms. Huh? Day blooms? Huh? I'm seeing a bunch of I'm seeing a bunch of marigolds. That's strange. Bunch of uh, glowing mushrooms. Okay, so we are officially over here in the jungle, which we should start getting a bunch of moon glow over here as well, just by breaking stuff as we mine. Kill that antlion swarmer. Don't feel like dealing with him. Let's see if we can find ourselves basically a. Uh, a lot of times you can find a cave kind of pre-made into the bottom of the jungle. Let's see if we can find one of those. Three tungsten ore. That works for me. I like tungsten ore. Kill you. Oops. Alright, so it looks like we might be coming across something over here. This usually has like a chest in it. Let's see what we've got going on down here. We got some pots. You need to die. Can I get some glow sticks going? Free rope. So no chest in here. No luck. That's fine. If we don't find ourselves like one of those natural entrances like I was talking about, just blow our way in there with some <laughs> some bombs. Use all the dynamite, sadly. What do we got down here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. We haven't even explored the world beyond the jungle. Because it was kind of out of our reach with how dangerous it was. Wonder if I should keep continuing. I believe... Wasn't it corruption? Yeah, we hit corruption. And then that was it. That's where we stopped. So I'm not finding one of those super easy cave entrances. So it's looking like, yep, we're already over the corruption. We're going to make our own. We got 20 bombs. That ought to work. He's picking up gold. You die now. Got the jungle bats. No. Oh man, I love having... I love having this meteor gun, or meteor gun, space gun to meteor armor. I could make demonite armor and be more armored up where we're going, but... Eh, we won't have any real method of ranged attacks. So I'm going to stick with this for now. One of my favorite strategies is what you just saw there. Throw a glow stick and then just keep mining. I'm just going to follow you down. That ought to be a good enough starter hole. Let's have some fun with it. So one, two, kind of space them out. If you throw them too fast, they'll start blowing up as they bounce, and then you'll miss out. So this is a little bit faster than mining, and a whole lot more fun. A little bomb intensive, of course, but they're cheap. And we still haven't broken into anything quite yet. I'm going to save the rest of those bombs, just in case. We might need them for something, but it looks like we've already broken into something here. I see a path. Here we are. So it looks like we found some of the jungle. Jungle caverns. Or did we just get a little rinky-dink one? Yeah, it's looking like a little rinky-dink one. Come on, glow stick. I need you to follow me. Don't worry. We will break into something here soon. The jungle has a whole lot of caves in it. To the point where it's a little ridiculous. we will find some really big open areas. Big open areas are also very scary in the jungle. It's all the bees and stuff that shoot at you. Okay, so it looks like we found something. What do we got? A bunch of slimes. They're having a party. Kill you. Slimes are easy. I can deal with slimes. It's the bees I'm worried about. Oh, and the man-eaters. Because what happens with man-eaters is they're like an enemy that's anchored. And they'll just kind of reach out and grab you like through the darkness that you can't really see. You really have to be mindful of that. Let's dig over here and see if this is anything. It's not looking like it's much. So we will have to start mining downward again. We'll find it sooner or later. This is why I like finding those natural caves so you don't have to make your own. Because that's a pain in the butt. Nope, that's a worm. Didn't really hurt me much. I think it's a regular one. Yep, that's a regular one. What's this? A whole bunch of nothing? A whole bunch of nothing. Okay, so what do we break into here? Piranhas. I get torch cave bat, jungle bat. I remember these bats are a little more tough. I can't really hit you there, Mr. Jungle Bat. What do we got here? Nothing, just a piranha. Okay, kill the piranha. Dig over here. Yeah, I'm about to ready to get rid of the, uh, the menacing shield. As awesome as it is, it's not very practical, I don't think, later game. And the random dashes I keep doing. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about that. So let's give ourselves a little bit of oxygen. You can just make yourself an air pocket. Of course, they are quite useful. Air is nice. Very surprised we haven't broken into a relatively big cave by now. We're just getting unlucky. That is exactly what's happening. We're going to get a lot of mud doing this. And that is a good thing. Because that's going to let me make one of my artificial jungle 
uh, biome things, or jungle biome things, uh, mushroom biome, with the help of the jungle biome. Alright, so, you find anything? Kind of, but not really. You can get out of here. I will pick you. I will pick your nose. Let me get under him so I can hit him with a the pick. There we are. Okay. Man. No, we're not getting lucky here. So what I'm going to do is let's dig upwards to get rid of some of this water. Come on. Come on. Is that a cave over there? Nope. Alright, let's get a torch up here so you guys can see. Okay. And I'm going to do this. So basically, air pressure keeps the water away. Now we're not going to have the water following us. Because that's a little annoying. Is there a glow stick for you? I am very, very surprised we have not broken into the jungle yet. Or, er, big jungle caves. Silver detected. Spike jungle slime. What have we got down here? I just, like, hovered over it, apparently. Sounds like he's shooting at me. They make the same sound that the dart traps make when they shoot. That, like, it's like... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at that. It's like... Yeah, that thing. That is a jungle slime, not a trap. Laugh at my, my sound effects. It's all you want. Oop, what's that? Is that a bee? That's a bee. Nice placement of glow stick to me. Compliment. Compliments are due. So these guys can shoot at you. Yep, and then they poison you for 20 seconds. That is what you gotta watch out for. That is a door. That is an abandoned mine shaft, but in jungle form. And that is new. And that is really cool looking. And I just saw a man eater. So, I will show you guys a man eater here in a second. Oh, gotta deal the worm. Ah, nope. Damn it. Just missed him. Okay, so this is gonna let a lot of water through. Worm is gonna die. Bye bye, worm. Alright, man eater. So we're look we're lucky here because it looks like he's at the end of it. They can only reach out so far. And it looks like he can only reach out to about here. So let's just take him down. But they, they do a lot of damage because because they're not very mobile. The vines. Now here's here's one of the biggest reasons I'm in the jungle. The vines combined with, uh, was it jungle spores? We're going to get ourselves something incredibly useful. And that is the ivy whip. Just a matter of time. So nothing really fancy in that chest, but it's still worthwhile looting. Let's uh, keep going downward here. I'm still hearing spike slimes. Rich mahogany bookcase. That bookcase looked really cool. Now put, put a torch there. Marker to stop it. Marker, see? Alright. Ooh, life crystal. And yes, if you're if you are in need of life crystals, the jungle is usually a really good spot to go. Okay, can I kill you? Yes, I can. Oh, almost hit me. More vines are very welcome. That life crystal won't do me any good, but what we can do now since we are at max HP for life crystals. Haha! -ha, make some heart lanterns and boss arenas increase our regen. And that'll help. Man eaters being man eaters, they're really annoying. You can hit them through the wall if you have like a sword, but right now, uh, there goes <laughs> there goes the menacing shield of Cthulhu. Um, I have a yo-yo, so it doesn't work. Down you go. So there is something over there, but let's just take a look at what's over this place. Teal mushroom. Okay. Ranahas. Ranahaha. There's a little bit of gold. Nope. Oh, kill a prana. Prana. Why'd you hit me, prana? A little bit more gold. Works for me. So we should not be able to use this. So, you see 400, staying 400. Just delete that. Delete the shurikens. I could delete the water leaves. I will delete the dirt block. Alright. Let's get the gold. Gold is nice. And I think it's time we press B. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so since we found ourselves a cave, pressing B does wonders. Alright, so this is the work of the Spelunker potion. This is letting me see all of the ores. The red, that is the Danger Sense potion. Ah, oh, useful. The mining potion, kicking in. You, you, can, you can feel the speed, man. That's a really weird, really weird thing to say, but you can feel the difference. That's quite nice. And it's going to let me find all kinds of good loot here, hopefully. Find some of those chests that we're after. Mr. Hornet, you're going down. Okay, Hornet's dead. Not going to take anywhere near as much damage due to the iron skin. We're going to regen a little bit faster. There's a couple few things that we get benefit out of. I had one minute left on it, that's why I did it. So this is tin. It's nothing I'm really going to worry about. Is this the cave we're breaking into? Looks like it. There's a spike slime above me. Would have been a good idea to get a hunter potion. 
Hindsight is 2020. Because then you can see these monsters through the walls. That also helps you find cave. Oh, we found a, j a jungle shrine. That is good. Come on, peek your head out. Peek your head out. One more. Down you go. Okay, he dropped a stinger, which I need, but I want to hit this up right here. In incandescent brick, or iridescent brick. Why did I say incandescent? What is it, a light bulb? Derp. That should be an emerald torch. I don't need the bricks. I don't need the lead. We'll, we'll be deleting a lot of junk, very likely. Feral claws are very useful for later on. Uh, I believe you can combine that into a pretty good accessory. I don't need the incandescent brick. Incandescent brick. Iridescent. I don't know why I keep saying incandescent. Forgive me. Iridescent brick. Don't really need it, so it's not really worth the inventory slots. I will kill you. No. I said I'll kill you, sir. So you can see where he's anchored. It was like right here. Uh, let's see, got ourselves one of those beetles. No. Beetle. Beetle, please. Beetle, why are you doing so much damage? Violet husk. Put the torch here. I'm using a lot of glow sticks and not a lot of torches, so. Eh. Once we use a lot of the, well, once we use these potions, we'll be getting some inventory space back for sure. That's quite the deposit of silver we have over here. And what is that? Is that are those gems? They're showing up as red. It's got something to do with danger sense. Ah, I don't know what that is. Let's let's go take a look. See some jungle grass seeds, which are useful if you want to make yourself your own biome. I'm gonna get rid of these chests because we can't. We should be able to craft them, and I don't really need them. We got plenty of chests. We can make chests. So that's just taking on space. I don't know what that is. That little plant thing. That's new to me. We'll have to see what that is here. We'll, go, we'll obviously go investigate it. But there's some gold and silver ore to be had. Gold again, Spelunker potions. I might start mass producing these things. They're, they're just too useful. The blood moon is rising. So that makes life difficult. Jungle is already pretty much a pain in the butt to deal with. I got this guy coming at me. He's got something inside of him it looks like. Uh, was it a stinger that he had in him? I mean, I think they can drop that. He had something red inside of him. Not sure what that was. Okay, this guy's probably gonna hit me, but not much I can do in this spot. We'll be fine, we've got all kinds of buffs. So keep collecting those stingers, you'll need a bunch of them. Thorn Chakra, I wonder how well that holds up anymore. Thorn Chakra used to be a really good uh, early game range weapon. But I mean, right now it's kind of... Eh? I think? Unless it got buffed. I don't really think it's something worthwhile going after. Maybe it's using new recipes. I don't know. We'll have to see. I will find it, I will make it, and we'll show it to the guide. <laughs> you can also see if it's a material one before we craft it, if you hover over it and read its description. Alright, so we are going to go back up, and I'm going to go investigate that weird plant thing, and then that red stuff over here. I don't know what that is. You are a bad slime. You're a dead slime. No, stop. See, there goes that menacing shield. I think it's just the sensitivity of my keys. Because I like really sensitive keys, and of course, double tapping is really easy to do. What's this? Silver? The problem with the Spelunker Potion, you have to get used to the textures of the ores, not so much some of their colors. It gets a little bit difficult to differentiate some of them. Some of them are very close. Oh, is that honey? Why is it showing crisp honey? Or just honey blocks as danger? Cause I guess because it slows you? That's weird. Um, cobwebs I do still like. Lesser healing potions I don't need. That, I don't need that bookcase. It does mean really no no good. So we'll get rid of that. Honey has its uses. Honey can be used in a lot of things. Uh, so I think some potions. I believe you can make the bee abomination which lets you summon. Or like beemination I think is what it's called. And it lets you summon the queen bee. So that's useful. How do my buffs wore off? So let's pop that again. The problem with some buffs is they don't last as long as the others. So you have to like alternate your buffs. Kind of weird. Well, let's see what this potion is. Or not potion, this plant thing is. What is this? It... Apparently it dropped sapphire. I don't know what it was, but it dropped sapphire. That was really strange. Unless we're healing potions, don't need. Alright, so... Should we go onward? There's Demonite Ore back there. Let's keep going down this way. Honey, I gotta be careful with the honey. I don't want to get too slid up by that. Alright, so we're breaking through to a cave here. Let's mark. It looks like a little rinky-dink cave. There's another man-eater. Ah, since, since it's nighttime, you see that natural blue light? 
That is moon glow. And that is very, very nice. That's one of the nice things I like about exploring the jungle. It's usually relatively well lit. It's kind of already for you at night. And it looks like we found a beehive. That is a scary prospect. I don't know how the queen bee fight's going to go. On expert mode. So, again, what we just found is the beehive. That has the queen bee in it. She's one of those bosses that spawns in the jungle that you can kill. Uh, she could drop the bee pet, which would let us fly if I if I remember correctly. That's useful. She doesn't have too many other unique drops. I mean, she has a couple unique drops, but nothing that I believe I really need at the moment. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look into that one for sure. Alright, so you're getting a bunch of these healing potions that I don't truly need. He just, like, barreled towards me. Thanks, bro. Oh, God, all the bees, man. Oh, we just hit, we hit a pressure plate. I don't know what that was to. I think we did. Cloud in a bottle, very useful. Silver bottles, night owl potions, let's loot all. Nope. Loot all. Doesn't really matter, that stuff is just silly stuff in my inventory. Magic mirror is more important than lead ore, yeah. And I will get rid of this chest. The reason I do this is because if I come back through here and these chests are glowing because of a potion, I look at them like, I didn't loot them? And then I go try and loot them again, and then there's nothing in them. <laughs> so it's like, whoa, that was depressing. What the hell did I come down here for? So that's just future maintenance. And let's dig our way into the beehive, which is, which can be a difficult thing in its own right, but it looks like it's a very easy... Uh, there's very, a very thin wall right there. Because the, bee bl uh, the blocks spawn bees. They have a chance to, anyway. And they attack you. So that's fun. Hornet. We're doing okay. I mean, we might be able to take the queen bee. I don't know what extra mechanics she has, though. But I don't think the queen bee should be too difficult for us. We have a, an okay weapon. She's a single target, so... I mean, the, the space gun isn't the... I don't think it's the best thing to use against her. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's at least dig our way in here. So you'll notice I'll, I'll be killing things and I might get hit here and there. Where's my honey? I see what they did there. Nice reference. Kill the bees. I wonder how well the bee gun stacks up. That I, I truly don't know. In hard mode or expert mode. <laughs> These things are really annoying to hit without a sword. I might want to bring one. Alright, so I could throw down that and start storing some things, so maybe we will do that. Let's plop this down. The piggy bank has to go on, like, ah, that's right, it's two blocks. It has to go on some kind of surface. It can't go on the ground unless they've changed it, but it goes here. Put the lumen here, like, one time items I'm not going to need anymore. I can sell that, I can sell that. I can use that later. Statue. So you can see how this is handy, it's got its uses. Mm. We'll be getting, we'll be get like some of these items I'll be getting a lot of, so I'm just gonna keep it on me. So we that, let's get rid of that. Teal, store you. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Well, apparently we can spam torches. That's cool too. So let's go ahead and check. So if you break that, that is the queen bee. So be careful. No pun intended. Also, this honey slows you down, so you don't want to leave it exposed. However. Sitting in it gives you regen, so maybe you do want to sit in it. You don't, uh, you don't want to rule it out. It's, 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 it's nice to keep in mind. But I, honestly, I didn't even look at the time when I started this episode. But I think right now it's uh, going to be that time. Taking a lot of damage here, but let's kill some bees, kill some of these dudes, and I will wrap this one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only hitting me for nine, so that's quite surprising. That's the poison I think I have to watch out for. All right, so we're doing okay in the jungle. I mean, we are geared up, and hey, look, a uh, mine track. That's cool. Kill you. So I think what I will do is see how difficult this fight is, whether or not we are prepared for it, and then look at attempting it. Looks like he has a heart inside of him. Is that what I'm seeing? This jungle slime? Nice, nice hit, buddy. Damn. Give me both of those times. All right, guys, so this was episode 22, Jungle. That's what this is all about. We're breaking into the jungle, getting new things. We're going to be able to make the Ivy Whip suit, and that is huge. So it's a hook that has three little, like, separate hooks, and you can really position yourself where you need to be. It's very useful. What we'll probably end up doing is putting a few of these platforms down. Uh, that, that, we'll have to get rid of that man-eater, too. That's not something I want to deal with during the fight. But a few platforms will let me move around uh, as, as necessary. 
I mean, like, if I need to be below or above, like, wherever she's at, that, that'll help. Let's kill this man eater. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Maybe what I'll do, let's put platforms right here. Yeah, that way I don't fall down and drown. Well, not drown, but be so slowed down to the point where it's ridiculous. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. I'm smarter than I give myself credit for. <laughs> Alright guys, episode 22, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.